guys welcome back so today I have a new makeup tutorial for you guys I basically put all the expensive shit that I have on my face some of the products that I use were recently sent to me and I'm trying out for the first time some were stuff that I really love so yeah I thought that would be a really fun video to do for you guys I always do a lot of drugstore videos so I wanted to do something high-end for once I actually really enjoyed doing this video and also I wanted to quickly mention I'm just so sick of saying hi guys like I don't mind saying it but I just want to be able I feel like we need to call our little family something I don't know let's make up a name for our little family so that I can say it in my intros and call you guys like so say my followers you know I just don't really like that um but yeah we'll stop rambling we'll jump straight into the video so I like to do my brows first and I'm going to be using the Estee Lauder stay in place brow pencil I think that's what it's called um, I'll write all the products in the info box along with links but I'm using the shade um, I think it's dark brunette and I'm just filling my brows with this and then I'm using the Bobbi Brown waterproof brow shaper which is so good at making your brows look extra fluffy and it just stays in place the only thing is it does go white a bit sometimes but just make sure I check on it then I'm going in with my Smashbox primerizer this is so nice on the skin it's very watery but it definitely moisturizes and primes I really really like this stuff then I'm color correcting with my Mac Pro conceal and correct duo and I'm using the ochre shade to color correct around my mouth and then for foundation I'm using the Fenty Beauty foundation in 330 along with this Kat Von D brush this is like an edge I think foundation brush it's number 10 and I was so surprised by this brush it feels so like luxurious it's definitely like it feels really expensive basically the shapes really nice as well and I really like to use this with my um, Fenty Beauty foundation because the brush kind of reminds me of the Fenty Beauty brush so they work really well together and I'm just applying this all over my face then for concealer I'm using the Smashbox Studio Skin Concealer in Medium Dark which I have been loving lately. I definitely recommend this concealer and I'm just going to blend this all over with a wedge sponge because I have broken my beauty blender sadly. Um, once I was done blending that I went in with my Fenty Beauty Matchstick which I use every day. This is the shade Wheat and it's like my perfect highlight colour. I try to avoid right under my eyes with this because it does crease on me but everywhere else it just sits so nicely and it does the job. I'm also using the Smashbox concealer on my eyelids to prime them before I put my eyeshadow and I'm using some of my Kat Von D loose setting powder to set under my eyes. I do a bit of baking with this and even though it's very white it does look quite white but it doesn't give a white cast after you've brushed it off. So for eyeshadow today I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Eye Palette which is such a stunning palette, just look at it, so beautiful. Anyways I can't believe this was sent to me, I just literally can't wrap my red head around that but I have been playing around with this for like the past few days and I absolutely love it. So I just used a pale white shade to set my concealer and then I'm going in with this taupey sandy brown shade and I'm just applying this in my crease and blending that out. I have been using this colour like every day for like uni and stuff, it's just really natural and simple to use. And then I'm going in with this darker brown shade from the palette and deepening the crease colour and the outer V corner as well. And I'm not making this look neat or anything, I'm just roughly doing this. I really think it, it looks even better when you do that. And then I'm going in with this really really beautiful like greeny silvery dusty copper shade I don't know how to explain this but it's just so unique and so beautiful and I love to pack this with my finger because it gives the most vibrant sparkly effect and I just apply that all over my mobile lid and I also went in with the black shade as an eyeliner just roughly like a smoke the lash line out with an angled brush <laughs> I did the other eye off camera and now we are going to go and brush the excess powder we left under the eyes and as you can see it doesn't give it a white cast and then I went in with the same crease colours that we used I mixed the two on my lower lash line and then I went in closer to the lash line with that dusty green shade and the black I mixed the two and I applied those two close to the lash line as you can tell out of this palette um, and now I'm curling my lashes and I'm going to be using the Kat Von D mascara 
and this had a really unique shape to it so I was very intrigued this was my first time using it and I was actually really really impressed by it it definitely lifts your lashes and gives so much length it doesn't give as much volume that I'm normally used to and that I prefer but I'm not mad at it it is really good so if you really love lengthy wispy lashes this is one to go for I will write the name of the mascara in the info box by the way now onto the rest of the face we are going to be using some makeup forever Pro Fusion Bronzer. I always forget the names, I'm sorry guys, but this is in the shade 35i. Just bronzed and con kind of contoured my skin. Then I'm going with my Huda Beauty um, 3D Highlighting Palette in Golden Sands and I used Tahiti all over my face basically to highlight my skin. I love Tahiti because it's like a bronzy highlight. And then I went in with the creamy colour from the palette and Seychelles and I mixed it to and highlighted my inner corners make it look like a star guys make it look like a star then for lips this is my first time trying Kat Von D liquid lipstick I was so so impressed this is the shade Lolita 2 by the way the Kat Von D stuff was sent to me um, very kindly so I was just so excited to try it all out and I can say I'm very impressed by her liquid lipsticks it wasn't like sticky and it feels so comfortable I even still have it on right now and I didn't even notice at first I was a bit like, mm, I'm not sure if this colour goes with the look, but then it kind of looked good, you know? So now finally I'm going to use the Kat Von D Lock, Lock It Setting Spray and the mist was so nice on this, I really liked it. So yeah, I just set the rest of my face and there you go guys, that's a very expensive face you have right here. I love you guys, hope you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!